So this is just a free body diagram. And what this is for is for lowering a uh, freezer down an incline. So let's say Mr. Palmer just brought, bought a chest freezer to take to his basement. We're lowering it out of the back of the truck. We have an incline and we have the chest freezer. So I'm standing here. Lowering the um, chest freezer down the incline. Forces in the free body diagram. Connie, give me one. Direction. Perpendicular and Perpendicular and up. Why does it have to be up in this particular case, Knickerbocker? Because uh, it's a push. Remember, the force normal is always a push. It's perpendicular to the surface and a push. Give me another force zero free by diagram, Mitch. Force of gravity straight down. Another force in our free body diagram, please, uh, Carol. Uh, in case you're curious, Carol. John. Uh, force of kinetic friction. Yep, which direction? Going to the right parallel to the incline. The force <laughs> of kinetic friction. <laughs> I can't say kind. Of, so, um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing it. It must, be, it must be the blood drive. It's clear. <laughs> uh, force of kinetic friction is this direction. What is the last force in our free body diagram? <laughs> force of flight. Which direction? The same as the kinetic friction. Same as the force of kinetic friction. This is why we're doing this free body diagram. Leah, remind me, what are the three things I asked you to remember about the direction of the force of friction? We'll go with one of them, give me one. Uh, I thought it was opposite of the Well, how do we say that? Uh, is it in our notes? It, it is in our notes, but that's okay. Can, oh, okay, um, opposes motion. Opposes motion. And this uh, freezer is going down the incline, so it opposes motion. What was, there were two more. Andrew, give me one. Um, um, it's parallel to the surface. Parallel to the surface, opposes motion. The last one, Nick. Independent of force applied. Independent of the direction of the force applied. So often you guys get it into your brain that somehow it's opposite the force applied. Notice it's independent of the direction of the force applied. Sometimes it's even in the same direction as the force applied, as you can see. Correct? Okay, so please remember the three things about the direction of the force of friction.